Hi, this is Stacy with Lily Bean Crafts by Stacy. Welcome back, and if it's your first time, thanks for stopping by. Today I'm gonna to be making a really pretty V-split wildflower tumbler. I'm gonna be starting with a 20 ounce skinny from Maker Flow Crafts, and I went ahead and I already prepped it, cleaned it, and have it ready. And I'm using this tool that I got on Etsy that is made for cutting straight vinyl lines, but it's also really great for just marking straight lines on the tumbler. I'll go ahead and link that in the description. And I'm using this vinyl that I got from Gracefully Created. So what I did was I cut out um, a V-split template that I got from LEB Creates, and I'm using the line that I put to go ahead and mark it off and put the two pieces together so that it's got a nice V-split look to it. I'm using a tumbler cradle that I got from Cami Page Boutique, who I am now an affiliate with. So if you need any products from Cami Page to help make your life a lot easier while you're making tumblers, I have a code, it's LBC10, and I'll link that in the description as well. I'm just carefully lining up the two vinyl pieces and what's wonderful about these vinyls that I get from Gracefully Created is they are removable vinyl so even if you have a problem with it which I had to play with it a lot you can remove it and then go ahead and stick it back down again. Now I'm just going to cover it all up with my painter's tape because I'm going to spray paint a purple to white ombre on here and I want to make sure all the vinyl is protected. And if you haven't done so yet, come join my Lily Bean Crafters community group on Facebook. I'm just getting it started and there's going to be all kinds of fun stuff on there. I took it outside and I spray painted an ombre. I used like a gravy purple color. I cannot remember off the top of my head what color it was. I'll link it in the description along with the white. Both were from Rust-Oleum and just spray painted a nice ombre on there and then let it dry. And now I am going in with the epoxy method because that's the method that I'd like to use while I am doing an ombre and I am working with Chase Ray's Regal right now it is the most gorgeous holographic purple and then for the top i am using grace the fine version and these two colors just blended beautifully together if you wanted to get these glitters from chase ray i do have an affiliate code my code is lbc15 for you to get a 15 percent discount for my first coat of the glitter, I went really light with the Regal and then towards the bottom of it, started heavier and then going lighter as I went up and having it tilted. And then with the Grace, I'm tilting it in the other direction, starting at the top, being heavier at the top and then going really light. And then I'm gonna go over it again. And this is where you get the really nice ombre. I'm gonna slowly start building it up and going a little bit heavier with the glitter.
Now that I have the glitter all coated, I'm gonna let this dry for three hours and then I'm gonna do a quick coat with my adhesive apothecary glitter glue. Let that dry for a half an hour. Then I'm gonna get it on my spinner. I'm gonna use the new Flynn Sisters Fast Set Epoxy and I needed about 20 mLs for the first coat. Let that dry for three hours and then I put a second coat on, roughly about 15 mLs for the second coat. Let that dry for another three hours and then I was ready to start working with the um, vinyl decal work. And I wanted to add a little bit more of the vinyl on here because it's such a pretty print. So I cut two little strips at a half of an inch and then I went through the glitter and I measured off a half an inch from that to make sure that it's all even. And I'm gonna lay these two vinyl pieces down and then I'm gonna cover them with a opalescent holographic vinyl. also got this pretty wildflower decal from Gracefully Created. When I'm laying down a decal, I just eyeball it. I wish I was more precise with it, but that's just not who I am. I've tried it. This just works the best for me. So I just went ahead and I eyeballed where I wanted it to be. And once again, if I don't like it, once I lay it down, it is removable so I could move it. But I like the way that it, the placement was. I'm adding some striping. I got this from Amazon. It's a Tech Wrap Craft um, Opal Holographic Vinyl, and I'll go ahead and link that in the description. And then that's kind of what finished off the entire project and made it all come together.
Today, as I was filming it, my phone cut out, so I didn't get to show me laying down all of the vinyl striping, but I've showed that in other videos before. So this kind of shows you how the final product was. And then I'm gonna go in with another coat of the Flynn Sisters Fast Set Epoxy. I'm using 15 mLs. I'm gonna let this spin for three hours, and then I'm gonna sand everything down. And then I'm gonna go in with 10 mLs of the new Artist Cure the regular epoxy from Flynn Sisters to get that beautiful shine. Let that cure for eight to 10 hours on my spinner and then it will be all done. And this is what it looks like when it's all done. It is just so sparkly and beautiful. I absolutely love the shine. If you like this, please hit the like and subscribe button. Check out my Lily Bean Crafters community group if you haven't done so yet. I'll link that in the description. And if there's something that you would like for me to make in a tutorial, please put it in the comments and I'll see you all next week. Bye-bye.